Hello and welcome to Ought and Math. In this edition of Ought and Math, we're going to talk about addition and subtraction properties in geometry. We have quite a few theorems to go through, however, the theorems are pretty straightforward. All right, first theorem. If a, if a segment is added to two congruent segments, then the sums are congruent. So if I have a segment, BC, and I add it to two congruent segments, AB, and CD, and notice how I use the tick marks to indicate congruence. So if I have two here, two tick marks here, then I know that AB and CD are congruent. So if BC is added to AB and BC is added to CD, then I know that AC is congruent to BD. So again, if a segment, BC, is added to two congruent segments, AB and CD, the sums are congruent. Now I want to make sure that when you write the reason out for this particular theorem, I want you to write it out for verbatim. So not addition property, but I want you to write out if a segment is added to two congruent segments, the sums are congruent. Theorem number nine, just a takeoff on the same theorem from before, but now we're talking about the theorem in terms of angles. So if an angle, angle two, is added to two congruent angles, angle one and three, then their sums are congruent. All right, and again, I mark the congruence by having one rounded arc here and one rounded arc here. So 2 is congruent to itself. I know that angle 1 plus 2 now is congruent to 2 plus 3. Theorem number 10 says if congruent segments are added to congruent segments, then their sums are congruent. So if I have segment AT, which is congruent to segment TH, and I add the segment AT to MA and the segment TH to HS, and I know that segment MA and segment HS are also congruent, then I can conclude that M segment MT is congruent to segment TS. So again, if I have two congruent segments and they're added to two congruent segments, then I can say the sums, MT, segment MT, is congruent to TS. All right, theorem number 11. If congruent angles are added to congruent angles, then their sums are congruent. So again, I have angle two and angle three that are congruent, and I also have angle four, which is congruent to angle one. So that means that if I add 1 and 2 together, it will be equal to the sum of 3 and 4. So again, if angle 2 and 3 are congruent and 1 and 4 are congruent, then the sums of the two congruent sets of angles are congruent as well. Now we move on to subtraction. It's a similar process with addition property. But now we're subtracting angles. So if I say a segment or an angle is subtracted from a congruent segments or angles, then the differences are congruent. So if I have one segment BU that's congruent to another segment LE, and I subtract one segment from both of those, then I know that the balance BL and UE are going to be congruent. <clears throat> so again, if a segment or angle is subtracted from congruent segments or angles, then the differences are congruent. And again, applying this to uh, angles as well. If congruent segments or angles are subtracted from congruent segments or angles, then the differences are congruent. So in the prior example, we were using segments and we had one segment that was subtracted from two congruent segments. And in this case, we have angles. We have two pairs of congruent angles in which one pair is subtracted from a larger pair. So I know that if I know that angle two is congruent to angle three, and I subtract them from a larger set of congruent angles, which would be one plus two and three plus four, then I know the balance, the differences, angle 1 and angle 4, are going to be congruent. 